Good morning, Assassins. How are you all? I hope you guys are safe and sound at your places, and I'm very sure you all are taking great care of yourself. Guys, as you know very well that we had to shut down our schools because of the outbreak of coronavirus. And guys, unfortunately, you guys got holidays, right? So, uh, you know, we, we have to manage, we have to maintain and we have to continue our education in such circumstances. Well, guys, to continue our education system, uh, you know, the government has suggested the digital medium. And by using this digital medium, we guys will complete our remaining slavers as you know very well that before these holidays we guys were discussing uh, and we were we were just heading towards our december test so guys uh, there were two topics included in your december test right first topic was geography and the second topic was about goods and services well guys we have completed our half of the topic in school and uh, you know the few topics were left from our you know first lesson well guys in this lecture we will mainly concentrate on the topics which were remaining okay so let's get started without wasting much time well grade 5 before we talk about our lecture number 1 let's discuss the overview of your first lecture as this slide shows you very clearly that in today's lecture we guys will discuss about the different types of map and your this topic belongs to your first lesson which is geography right so guys um, you can see the globe is rotating right now on the screen and on the right side of the screen you guys can see different maps so this is the theme of the lecture that we will discuss today about different types of maps we will discuss about the importance of maps and we will also discuss slightly much about where we guys can use different maps okay I'm very sure this is going to be very interesting lecture for all of for all of you. So guys, please uh, put everything away, drop your you know whatever you're holding in your hand and just concentrate on today's lecture. For this sake, I want you all to open your you know the topic geography and while listening this lecture, must put your book in front of you. Well, grade 5, before we start our today's lecture, let's slightly discuss about the expected learning outcomes. As you know very well that today we are going to discuss about map. We will discuss about the different kinds of maps and I'll show you different pictures of different maps. And I will also tell you about the uses of different maps. Okay, So at the end of this lecture, you guys will be able to recognize the different kinds of maps. You will be able to, uh, to tell that what are the uses of different maps. Okay, So remember one thing that there are certain elements of maps and these elements are called direction, title, scale and symbols and key okay and guys one more thing that in today's lecture we will discuss about the main types of maps okay we are not going to discuss each of the type in detail in the first lecture we will slightly discuss about the main types of maps okay so fasten your seat belts because we are going to study something fantastic well guys let's discuss the definition of map when you hear the word map, what comes in your mind grade 5? Map, uh, I'm very sure the answer is drawing or picture. Well, your answer is right because a map is a drawing or picture of a real place. Or you can say that uh, a map is a drawing or picture of a place and it shows the position of things like countries, uh, rivers, cities, roads, plantation and, uh, and whatever you're looking forward, right? Guys, you can also say that map shows you what the place looks like if seen from the air, okay? And in the previous lecture, which we have, uh, you know, which you guys observed in the classes, we guys have discussed about globe in, in these previous lectures, right? So, uh, I have told you that a globe is a model of earth, okay? And map is a drawing of a real place, okay? Uh, because we guys cannot see every place by sitting or... Uh, 
by sitting in our inside our room or by sitting inside the class so to see the different places we guys use map okay and map is a drawing of a real place you can say that maps are very useful as uh, as they as they, as we can find uh, what the places uh, we have never seen before and we can also find out how the, how these places looks like right you can also say that a one map cannot show everything so for this sake you need different kinds of map so in a today's lecture we will discuss about the kinds of maps as well but before we discuss about the kinds of maps i want to ask you one question who make maps do you know who make maps well guys let me tell you that a person who makes map uh, you know is called cartographer okay or you can say that people who draw uh, and make maps who draw charts and make maps they are called cartographers well guys uh, you know for example teacher teaches you right so uh, there are the different occupation different professions for different people the people who study about the charts and maps and who make about uh, who make charts and maps they are called cartographers so the answer of this question is cartographers the person who makes map is called the person who makes map is called cartographer right so let's move towards about uh, uh, let's focus on the main topic of today's lecture which is about the types of maps girls and guys as you know very well that today's main topic is about the different types of map and uh, we will discuss about the types of map and about the uses of map Firstly, we will discuss about three major types of map. Uh, though there are different kinds of maps uh, explained in your book, but firstly, we will discuss about the main types of map. Guys, uh, you know very well that a map is a picture or drawing of a place. It shows the position of things like countries, river, roads, plantation, uh, etc. Guys, a uh, map shows you what the what the place looks like if seen from the air, and you can say that maps are very useful as uh, through them we can find out what places we have never seen before they look like. And guys, on one map you can say that cannot show everything and every place to you. So you can say that it's not just possible to see all the places and to get all the information about different kinds of places by sitting, you know, by sitting on one place. So for this sake, you need map if you want to see any of the other country which, 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 which in which you are interested to visit. So you can collect the map of that country or that specific place, and you will be able to see that place by sitting inside your place, right? So there are three major type of map. first is called physical maps political map and the third one is called thematic map right so guys in today's lecture we guys will discuss each of these type you know separately so let's get started Well, then, guys, you know very well that uh, one type of map cannot show everything, and guys, it is just not possible to give all information about a place on one map. So there can be different kinds of map of a uh, same place showing different information and different type of, you can say that stances about one place. You can say that, for example, let's take the example of. uh gujranwala right inside gujranwala if you want to show the weather of gujranwala you have to you are required or you are requested to use different type of map when you want to show the roads and the places of uh you know important places of gujranwala you will use road map when you want to show about the different uh you know streams and rivers of this place you will use different type of map so you can say that for showing the different features of one place you are required to use different maps okay so you this must be clear in your mind that for showing the different features of one place you will use different type of maps okay so that's why we are studying about the types of map so in the previous slide i have told you that there are three major types of map so let's discuss our first mentioned type of map and that is physical maps Girls and guys, on this slide, on the right side, you can see the physical map. You can say that a physical map is a map that highlights the physical features of a region or area. 
and you can also say normally a physical map shows us mountain ranges mountain you know major lakes and rivers right so if you want to see the physical feature of any country any place you will use physical map and let me tell you what do you mean by physical feature guys all the visible things on the earth are called its physical features okay which you can feel okay so they are called physical features so the physical features of your earth can be mountain river lakes and important mountain ranges and major lakes and streams so for showing such kind of things you are required to use physical map okay if you want to see the physical features of any place any area you will use physical maps because our second major type of maps well guys this these type of maps which shows us the boundaries or border lines between different states or countries they are called political map and guys you can say that normally labels uh, you know uh, capital cities and other important cities within a state or country and guys political map shows the boundaries borders between states and countries as you know very well that pakistan shares its border with different countries for example uh, you know uh, pakistan shares its border with china india iran and afghanistan and if you want to see the border line or the boundaries between different countries you will use this political map okay so let's discuss our next mentioned major type of map this is about our third major type of maps well guys in this category we will discuss about thematic maps and you can say that thematic map shows information about uh, you know about geography topics and uh, these topics could be you know uh, the physical culture and the historical culture about the economy population vegetation climate and language of any country or state well guys you can say that a map showing uh, you know religion uh, is an example of thematic map this kind of map uh, you know might contain information about the whole world the area of the world where the people practice one certain religion or different religions and you can say that in this category of map we will discuss about climate and we can uh, you know also discuss about you know uh, vegetation economy population language and in short you can say that all the major geography topics uh, you know are covered in this this category of maps because these map uh, you know uh, these maps uh, thematic maps is you can say that uh, one that focuses on a particular main idea or theme such as you know climate population and religion and about the different kinds of culture and historical histories of countries right so in today's lecture we guys have discussed about three major types of maps and guys these three major types of maps are physical maps and these maps are you know political maps and the third one is thematic map which which we have discussed a, a while ago right so let's move towards our today's assignment well guys our today's assignment might be little tricky for you because it contains information which we have delivered in lectures well guys as i told you that this assignment could be little tricky because uh, here you are uh, enhancing your map reading skills so for this sake you have to complete and you should complete this assignment by hook or crook well guys this assignment uh, contains uh, you know some questions and you have to answer each of the questions separately well guys your first question is you are trying to figure out where the largest mountain chain in the world is located what type of map would you use and you have to tell the reason why let me give you one hint uh, mountains uh, you know landforms uh, plateaus rivers lakes streams they all comes in the category of physical features so you can say that you have to tell over there which type of physical map you will use to tell uh, you know where that largest mountain chain in the world is located so you have to tell the name of the map okay and you will tell the reason why you are giving this name 
Second question is you want to see the population of Pakistan. What type of map should you use? You have to tell the reason why. And which map tells about the whole world population, vegetation, about the climate, culture, religion. Uh, we have discussed mainly three types of map. Uh, from these three types of map, you have to choose the one which you will write over there as the answer. Third question is, you want to see the part of Pakistan receives the highest annual rainfall? What type of map you should use to see? Okay, you have to tell the name of the map which you will use to tell, uh, you know, about the rainfall and about it comes in the category of climate, right? So you have to tell the name of the map which you will use to tell that particular feature of Pakistan. Your fourth question is you want to see how steep a mountain climbs, what type of, uh, you know, map should you use and why? So just uh, recall that mountain is in the category of physical features. So if you want to tell the physical feature of any country, what type of map will you use? You have to write down the name of that map. The last question is you want to see which country border Russia, which countries border Russia and what type of map would you, you know, should you use in this in this regard and you have to tell the reason why. Okay, so guys, um, we have discussed three types and your answer should be from these three types. All right. So guys, I'm very sure you all have enjoyed a lot in today's lecture because this lecture was very important for enhancing your map reading skills and remember one thing that maps are very important uh, because you can visit any place before visiting that place you guys can get uh, collect information about that place by watching the map okay in this slide guys i want to say one thing to you all that these are very crucial days you have to take care of yourself you have to take care of the life uh, you know have to take great care of the life of your dear ones so please uh, you know cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue or uh, after after sneezing inside the tissue or handkerchief must throw into the trash bin and must wash your hand more than uh, you know uh, you know uh, more than 20 to 30 times uh, you know uh, you know during the day okay and guys must wash your hand at least for 20 seconds because the life of uh, your your life is very important for the bright future of our country okay take care of yourself and i'm very sure uh, you all have enjoyed today's lecture i will see you in your next lecture take care of yourself stay home do whatever you want to do please do not trouble your mother allah hafiz i will see you in your next lecture